everyone welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new if you haven't already subscribed please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and do not forget to turn on your post notification bell so whenever i post another video you guys will be notified also if you guys want a shout out please leave a comment a positive comment down below so in my next video i will be shouting out the first two person who left a positive comment down below so with further ado let's get right into this video so this video is actually part two of my timo haul that i did if you guys haven't seen that video yet i will leave the link down below so you guys will check it out today i'll be using my e-file the e-file that i got from timo also if you guys don't know what is timo timo is like a uh, um am something like amazon they have anything and everything and also they are very affordable so definitely check them out i'll be leaving all the codes so you guys could have some extra perks using my discount code also on timu if you guys purchase something and let's say you went back to the site and you saw that there is a price change for a lower cost and it's not yet 30 days you guys could definitely apply for a partial credit and you will have a partial credit or a refund back to you that is the good thing about timo you guys definitely check them out they are very affordable also this drill that i'm using this e-file that i'm using is very very lightweight not in a cheaper version but it is quality and you guys it is very very smooth running i always wanted to purchase one of this e-file but in other websites they are super expensive and you guys i barely paid i can't remember how much i would leave the link down below for you guys it's less than 20 dollars you guys and i must tell you the quality is so so super expensive when you held it in your hands and i must say they work very well it comes with extra bits as well and yes guys I must say that this e-file is very much worth it. And I must let you know guys that everything that I'm using here, majority of the stuff I got from Timu like the poly gel and all the, the nail drills and whatever but the glue and the nail tip i got from my car the nail tip i got from amazon there i apply my poly gel i did an ombre with with number seven and number eleven um though again if you guys haven't watched that video you guys should check it out so you guys would know exactly what i'm talking about so for this ombre you guys it's not difficult to do you guys all you want to do just firstly lay a very small amount of poly gel and you just want to spread it evenly also one thing i must point it out is that this poly gel you guys is super super quality poly gel and another thing that i noticed is that like for the cuticle areas if you just leave it like for a few seconds it's just it just self leveling itself and it blend so smoothly into the cuticle you guys i never had tried poly gel that self level before but it's not i mean it's amazing it's not runny nor it's not super like you know sticky that you cannot able to move it around it is quality poly gel you guys it is quality and that's what I love with it. It's because it's self -leveling, leveling so, so great. Um, there you see, I'm just trying to like 
give it that ombre stroke and then I went ahead and I cure for 60 seconds then I go in back with another small bead of poly gel just to bring that back that vibrant color back in because I want it to pop a little bit more so then you just want to continue blending all the time at the edge slightly drag place your brush at the end like a very tip of it and then smoothly bring it down as you can see that it's already blended very well but first thing I must say you guys when you want to do like an ombre I really recommend you guys like to flash cure in between so whenever you put another layer on it it's not gonna be all mushy and it's not gonna be like you know like too much to handle so my recommendation is to cure in the midst of doing the ombre and apply another layer if you think it's not well ombre that's what I did there so there now I'm going in with number seven which is like a nice perfect nude it's not real it's like you know the ombre nude it's very pretty there you see I'm placing a very very small bead I'm saying bead I know this is not acrylic but I'm saying bead and I'm just light-handedly dragging my brush through and then back and forth back and forth I will do the same thing like what I did with the the pink poly gel and then I will cure in between I didn't go till to my cuticle as yet because I just want to get that ombre effect in place first before I place another bead to my cuticle so once I finish blending here and I think it is okay I will go and flash cure this then I will go in back with a second bead and I will let that sit for like a few seconds because you guys it's self -leveled. leveling so great into the cuticle not in a way that you will have lifting so after that is all done I went ahead and I cure and then I will apply my second bead and I will do the other set of ombres and then top that off with some clear poly gel so in that way whenever you file you're not gonna file away your poly gel your ombre you're not gonna file away your ombre always remember whenever you're doing ombre you use it doesn't matter what you do sns it doesn't matter if you do acrylic it doesn't matter if you do poly gel it doesn't matter always use a clear coat either a clear gel a clear builder gel always use that so whenever you're filing you're protecting your ombre that is my preference you guys also if you feel that you add like a little bit too much of your poly gel you just want to like cut it like take the other side of your brush and you just wipe away some of it or you just like if you have anything like my brush I have a dual side where you have the applicator and you have the brush I'm sorry I didn't get to show you guys that but I will leave the link down below for the brush that I use and I just kind of like put it on the side and I cut half of it out and then I start blending again these poly gel blended so great you guys I cannot stretch it any more than I am it really really blends a uh, very smoothly for just a few bucks I must say that my mind was blown it was definitely I was expecting that okay the poly gel will be a bit runny it's not gonna be good quality but no it's very great you guys so I will let this video play out for a while and I will get back with you guys
finish um, curing and doing all my ombres I then went ahead with some rubbing alcohol and I just want you just want to remove that sticky layers because every poly gel have that sticky layer after you cure so you just want to rub all of that gunk out so when you go into file it's not gonna get stuck into your file or your e-file bits so I went ahead and I did my filing however you guys I don't know what happened with my camera and that whole piece of clip it wasn't recording at the moment so but you guys I promise you I'll definitely make a separate video for that one I'm so so sorry you guys that I didn't get to show you guys how great this e-file is I promise you I will definitely do another video with that to show you guys so I went ahead with all my stickers which I also got from the Timo there you could see I was trying to figure out what I will be doing so I went in with some evil eyes I really like these so I was trying to decide which one I'm gonna use however I did end up and choose a smaller ones to use and I just applied that on my thumb and on my ring finger and then I went ahead and I applied some 3d nail art as well 3d stickers which I also got from Timu and I must say that they all this set I really like how they came out they came out so nice I wasn't expecting this poly gel again to look so good and you guys the e-file did a great job as well the noise level was very quiet comparing the one that I had got before I will do a compare a comparison for you guys on my next video to show you my old one what was it like and from the one that I have now and that I'm using now so I went ahead and I apply my gemstone and everything on my nail and this is how my nail turned out you guys I really like how they look it came out very nice very neat I'm very proud of myself and like I said everything that I'm using is from Timu majority is from Timu just that the, the top coat and everything else is from my card so definitely definitely check out Timu you guys and do not forget to use my discount code so you guys could have some extra perks and some extra discount from using my discount code also if for all new users for Timu you guys gonna have a hundred dollar coupon as well using my promo code so once again guys I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and I do apologize for the missing clip from my video that I can that my camera didn't pick up whilst I was filing my nails so please guys do bear with me I'm still trying to figure this thing out so once again thank you guys for all your support thank you for all the positive feedback thank you guys so much i do hope you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to subscribe and turn on your post notification bell so whenever i post another video you guys will be notified and please help me get to 500 subscriber i'll be very thankful for that so see you guys in another one bye